Good morning, YouTube and Pigeon World. This is Greg here, GVJ Loss. Another week of high flying endurance training. They left this morning. They came out of the coop. They were on the grass. And the first thing they met head on was the damn hawk. So it's been an hour. They're still flying, obviously. And my little one came back. She's up there. But I'm letting her be because she's scared. She's my cute little one. I call her my little runt. Not a runt, but I call her that because she's the smallest one of all. And I'll give you an update as we go along. Can't show them flying because they're nowhere in sight. But I'll keep an update on this. Okay, here they go. They've been flying for over two hours. This is the first time they even come close to coming down. Now, they have been off, they were off, they didn't fly Sunday or Monday. And today when they came out, they came out at the same time but so did the hawk. So the first thing they met face to face as soon as they came out was the dreaded hawk. So they took off to the pens. And this is the first time they actually come down from the pens. So still see if they'll break the two hours and 51 minutes. We'll see. They haven't been flagged. Not going to be. Not today because they got the nice little scare from the hawk. Okay, I'll keep you posted. Looks like they might land. Oh, yeah, they're gonna land. There they go. There they go. They'll land at the same time. Hopefully that hawk is nowhere around. Okay, so the hawk didn't make a meal out of them. They all made it back. Actually, I have 24 now. I lost one last week. It's like the third day she's gone. We can see if it comes back. If not, it's gonna be put as a loss. But uh, today they all came out. They all were attacked. There were hawks all over the place. They even, even had eagles up there wall head eagles not that they attacked but anyway uh, they made it through all that and they actually flew two hours and four minutes today not a record time but good time nonetheless anything over two hours I'm, I'm happy so we'll keep you posted like I said, they walk Sunday, Monday, today, Tuesday. I'll keep you posted on the week's training. Okay, here they go. They've only been flying about an hour and a half. And they're trying to land. It looks like they want to land anyway. And means they're not going to do their minimum which also means I have to flag them and I'm going to show you how I do that if that happens okay they took off they didn't land they're going up again okay for those of you who are wondering this is the dreaded flag <laughs> basically it's just a 10 foot PVC pipe with a black 
plastic bag tied onto the pole with tie-ons on each end. When I pull, put this up, it makes a loud snapping noise, plus it's black, so it gets them going. Luckily, I don't have to do this often. Okay, so they did an extra half hour. They've been flying for two hours, and they landed. Still a no-no. They haven't done the two and a half minimum. So we flag them. Okay, they're over there. Here's the dreaded flag. And this is what we do. all up again and they'll do the minimum now now actually it's been an hour and 45 minutes that they've been up not two hours so they still got a 45 more minutes to go to break their minimum now having said that you know sometimes when you fly them two three days in a row they're tired so if they come down now within the next five minutes I leave them alone. You can't keep flagging them. If they come down again, that means they retire. Leave them alone. Having said that, for the most part, they will do their minimum now and then come down. Well, I flagged them and they flew their extra 45 minutes. Actually, they flew like 55 minutes. So they're good and now they're eating another day good morning it's Greg here again today's the last day of training for the week so far they've been up over an hour I tried something new today or yesterday just to experiment with them and what I did was I gave them some food in the afternoon, about five. Again, same feeding method, on, only a little bit. As soon as one went to water, I stopped, which was only like one to two, one and a half uh, handfuls. And we'll see how they do with that flying with that. Oh, and by the way, they haven't broken any of their own records this week. Well, I guess I spoke too soon because they did break their own record this week. Uh, the minimum record is 2 hours and 30 minutes. They just hit that about 3 minutes ago. And this still up there. So we'll see what they'll do. Okay, they just broke their record of two hours and 30 minutes minimum. It just went up to two hours and 45 minutes minimum. There's still some other flying. You can see right there. So let's we'll see if they're gonna break, break the maximum of 251. We'll see. Most likely they won't because they're not going to get flagged, that's for sure. And as soon as some go in, here they come. I have a feeling that feeding them in the afternoon a little bit so they got a little full did help. Not full, but if the person got full, that did help. That means when they came out this morning, they weren't as, weren't as hungry as they usually are. Now, they're down. And they're going in. They're going straight 
for that water. So update for this week. They finally broke their own record at, on the last day, Saturday, of two hours and thirty minutes uh, to two hours and forty-five minutes. That's the lowest record. He still got the two fifty-one highest. And that'll do it for this week. Guys, treat your pigeons good. Love them. Take care of them. And with that being said, this is Greg from GVJ Lofts. Keep them flying.